Hi, I'm Will Betts. I'm here for Sound on Sound at the AES show in Los Angeles with Marcel from Antelope Audio. And Marcel, you've got a, a major update for your Thunderbolt interfaces, right? Our whole Thunderbolt platform, our whole Thunderbolt interface uh, family is getting updated this show, this month. It'll happen for users throughout October. Mm -hmm. So they're all getting more vintage EQs, they're all getting in increased instance counts. Uh, the 32 Plus is getting that Goliath 64 channel Thunderbolt capability so that you can use all of these. And I'm going to show you how, I want to show you some of the new effects and, and why we're so excited about those and how the usability of those effects has, in has improved quite a bit. Okay, and this is a free update then? Is this it? is free for all of our, so it's big news for existing customers who bought into this platform during the year and also new customers going forward. Okay, let's take a look then. So we're taking a look at some of the new effects uh, for the Antelope AFX platform. Uh, on top here you see one of our PEV EQs. It's a German style mastering EQ from the 60s. Then we've got a Lang PEQ2. Uh, interesting thing about the Lang is this one I measured myself. We borrowed a couple uh, vintage units from El Dorado Studios in Burbank, a very legendary studio. And these EQs are just amazing on the two bus. They're great mixing EQs. They, they sound fantastic. These are going to look familiar. If you, when we scroll down, we've got uh, some of our new 4K line, and we actually did uh, four different versions of these. We did the black, we did the brown, we did the pink and the uh, the orange of the uh, of the 4K line, in which the pink was a variant of the black, and uh, the uh, orange was the passive or Pultec style version of the 4K. So we've got some excellent uh, EQs. All of these EQ instance counts, as I mentioned, have been increased now up to 40 instances. So you get a huge amount of usability there. And as far as usability goes, you can do a really cool thing. You can detach these effects, and I'm gonna drag them to a, another desktop right now. I'll make these much larger. So if you can imagine my screen one had a DAW open right here, or here right now I've got my main routing page. Keep in mind I can also max screen that as well. So I can blow these up and I can also, um, I can also re resize them very easily as well. So now I can flip between them and work in my, uh, create a workflow environment where I have hardware inserts or IO plugins or pipeline with Studio One, and those can all be, I can create templates that route to all of my different uh, AFX inputs here, add the AFX and easily switch back on, uh, this, this, this uh, strategy works with both a PC and Windows 10, and they make that integration to do multiple desktops easier as well, and it's built into the functionality of Mac, which is what we're using here today. Today. So the usability with the 64 channel mode for Thunderbolt for 32 plus, the increased in instance counts, we have up to 14 different uh, vintage EQs. They're all running real time on, a, on that FPGA. So we're mimicking that circuitry. We're not introducing new DSP software every time and new buffering every time you open up an effect. They're, they're accessing real time hardware circuitry on the FPGA in real time all, all, that are always running. So. Uh, it's very powerful technology. Um, you can do some real-time things like open up guitar amps and cabinets and put these effects. And by the way, we also have uh, a FET style 76 compressor we just introduced as well. So we're starting down that path of populating these platforms with compressors as well. So thanks for coming to AES. Appreciate Sound on Sound for stopping by. Marcel with Antelope.